flip through nine is played in pairs. Each pair needs a set of cards from one through to nine. They then take these nine cards and shuffle them really well. After that, it's player one's turn to flip through the cards, adding them as they go, like this. Seven, eight, 11, 19, 21, 26, 30, 36, 45. When player one has finished, they shuffle the cards really well again, and it's player two's turn. Three, five, 11, 18, 26, 27, 36, 40, 45. Now you'll notice that each time the answer has to come to 45, and that's a built-in check. If the learners have done their addition correctly, they'll get 45 as the answer. If they don't get 45 as the answer, they know that they've got it incorrect and they need to go back through and do that addition again. But it's only the final answer that'll stay the same. If you shuffle really well each time, then you'll get a different set of additions to do. So the learners can play it multiple times, practicing their addition, trying to get faster and faster, and each time knowing if they've done their addition correctly or not, because they'll have to get 45 as the answer. It's also quite a good idea to show them why you end up with 45 as the answer when you add one through nine. And you can do this by showing them how things, pa by pairing up things that add together to make 10. So here, nine and one, eight and two, seven and three, and six and four, and then the five's on its own. So you get 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. If your learners um, are struggling with addition, you can make it easier by just using the cards 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, in which case the total will just be 15. And they can try that a few times before going on to more numbers. If they um, are finding it really easy, you can make it harder by using two sets of 1 to 9 cards, and in which case the total will then be 90, which will give them plenty of addition practice.